Hi guys, welcome to my channel Atlantic Venus to, with me Atlantic Venus and today's pick a card reading is all about your love life for everyone who is single out there. So this, this is a reading uh, for all singles out there and if you are already in a relationship maybe this there may be some kind of themes or things that you will resonate but it's more for those who are searching for love or thinking about love you know um so this is so remember this is a general reading and if you want to have a reading with me you can contact me on atlantic.venus. Uh, star uh, at dot uh, at gmail.com <laughs> venus dot no sorry <laughs> sorry anyway you can email me you can see the address down below or if you want to donate uh, and you want to support my channel and my work i will appreciate that so i thank you forward uh, but let's uh, start with the piles. This is pile one with the um, golden art nouveau tarot. This is pile two with the muse tarot. And this is the last pile. Pile three is the crystal vision tarot I'm going to use. So pile one, pile two and pile three. And before I even, you know, gonna start with the tarot cards, I have already pre-shuffled some oracle cards. And yeah, let's move on to pile one. Bye. Hi Pile One, this is a reading for you who has chosen the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. But let's pick first the Oracle cards to see what Mars is going to bring for you when it comes to love uh, for you single out there. Uh, Child Eternal, determination to remain young in body, mind and spirit, ability to see things with fresh eyes. Eyes. Okay, sounds lovely. The wolf, the heart medicine. Let go of that which, which does not serve your highest good. Next, Capricorn, achieve. And the last oracle card is new beginnings. Okay, the feeling I get when I see this for, for. Um, cards uh, let's do like this yep because there is an indication that you have to leave something behind you and i think for you who have chosen this pile you have to leave an old uh, relationship behind you um an ex you have to release you have to really move on uh, when it comes to your love life and see things from a new perspective, you know, and so interesting to see that I noticed this butterfly and I feel like you will kind of, I think there is someone you will meet that will give you the butterfly type of feeling in your stomach um, or you are going to you know the release the old so you can find new love you know uh, and I think general you will achieve a lot during the month of uh, uh, March when it comes to love and relationship um, I think you will have more of a practical approach to love during this mar uh, month um, yeah ability to see things with fresh eyes new eyes you know I think you need to be more open because you see this it's not a door it's a I don't know what you call it but 
you have to enter this new chapter, you know. Uh, you have to be open, open-minded. Uh, let's see here. But I feel like it's not that you're narrow-minded, but I feel like you are going to have some strong boundaries with yourself, you know. You won't just jump out there, because uh, I feel like you are... I don't think you're restricting yourself. I think you're cautious and you are going to put uh, very uh, obvious boundaries uh, around you, you know. And I think you have wisdom within you to see who is the real catch and who is not. Um, but I feel like you have to also open your heart, you know. Be more childish, be more, because, uh, uh, you know, love can be fun too, you know, to flirt, to just talk to people. It doesn't always have to lead to something. Uh, but I, I feel like I get this feeling that you don't want to jump in in a relationship very quickly, you know. You're more cautious. And I think you are thinking one step at a time, you know. That's the Capricorn card. The Capricorn card indicates that very well, well you know. One step at a time, you know. That's a, it's a very Saturnian sign. So it, I don't think you will jump in and be crazy during the uh, month of March, you know. You will be more cautious. You will have a more mature attitude towards love. But let's shuffle some tarot cards to see more details. Uh, let's see here. What is the message pile one need to hear uh, when it comes to love and relationship? here <laughs> the hermit <laughs> I get this feeling that there is a very strong earthly energy and you are working very much with your uh, with yourself you're doing some kind of shadow work and that's because you are oops a lot of cars just jumped out uh, yeah, I, 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 this is not the part of the three cards, but I have to show you the tower, ten of swords, the hanged man, uh, strength, two of pentacles. Oh, okay, I think, I, I see the clear picture. You are leaving something heavy behind you. You, you have left some very destructive relationship behind you. Especially when I see the, uh, the tower card here. You're leaving something behind you that has been very tough for you. You know, a very tough relationship. Uh, so I think that's why you are withdrawing yourself, you know. And yeah, you're more cautious. You want to take it more in a mature way when you are approaching love but two more tarot cards because they just jump, jumped out so I think that was a very important message for you to see oh uh, this is the knight of of uh, pentacles yeah, yeah I think it's it's the night. Yeah, it's the night. <laughs> night of... Yeah, you know, this is the slowest night uh, of them all when it comes to... Of all the four nights, you know. So I think you have a very... You will have a very pragmatic and a practical approach for them uh, during this March, uh, month uh, when it comes to love. Um and I feel like you're very, you're actually going to be more focused on your job. Uh, job, you want to achieve some goals. And I think 
maybe that's why you won't focus so much on love. I think career and something like that will take your space. There is a strong uh, dissatisfaction with love. I don't think you're enough open to uh, receive love yet. Um, okay. The, th the word I want to say to you, the meaning that is coming through me is that you have to heal yourself. I think pile one, you have to heal yourself. You have just left something very destructive behind you. And it's very important to hear this message too, you know. Uh, just because it's a love reading doesn't mean that everyone is going to have some, you know, happy news about love that you're going to find someone this month. Maybe you maybe you're trying to find yourself first, you know. Your emotional uh, uh self uh, but the thing is when i look at this deck in the bottom there is wheel of fortune and i think uh, in the future something will turn around very i feel soon very soon for you when it comes to love and relationships but when i see the hermit and the capricorn card and the four of cups i mean you have to you maybe have to go within yourself, inside yourself and heal some aspects, you know. Because I see that you're feeling hurt, you feel miserable and you're not content with what is offering to you when it comes to uh, your love life. So, yeah, you have to take care of yourself. So, thank you very much and let's move on to pile two. Bye. Hi guys, this is a reading for you who has chosen pile two. Um, sorry that I just did like that. I actually don't know why. Uh, maybe this is a sign that something is uh, coming very soon to you. Maybe with speed um, or <laughs> sorry, but I will use first my oracle cards. Uh, it's very unusual that I'm doing like that. <laughs> very strange, but okay. Maybe I edit later. Who knows? Uh, let's see here. Let's see your four cards. The mystic. Reveal intimate union with the divine. Okay. Very spiritual message. Giraffe. The bigger picture, take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. Maybe you're rushing, you know. Um, that was the feeling I got. Uh, and let's see here. Virgo, digest and family. Okay. Family. Uh, I think you want to nurture yourself during the month of uh, March. Uh, uh, I see that you are taking care of yourself because of the Virgo card. Uh, there is a very strong mystical energy for this pile, you know. Um, I feel like you will actually spend time with your family uh, overall. Let's see here, the giraffe. You know, <laughs> sorry that I want to mention how I brought the cards, but I think you are very busy. I think you want to, you want things to happen for you, you know, very quickly. Maybe you are very restless, but actually you have to gather yourself because I see a bit scattered energy in this reading. I don't know why. Uh, and the, f the word I get when I channel this message is stillness. You have to be still to be, you know, in one place. Because, you know, everyone says that uh, Virgo is a very jumping sign. But that's uh, uh, 
sorry the gemini is a very jumpy sign you know moves a lot here and there but virgo is also like that it is just that they are more uh, focused on uh, real things you know uh, gemini is more connected with abstract thinking but i see that there is <laughs> I feel like you're separating your emotions very strongly with logic, but I feel like you have to um, have them both, you know? Because uh, sometimes you are very close to your heart and sometimes you're just letting logic taking over you uh, in a more extreme ways, you know? Um, uh, let's see here. I'm, I, I'm actually going to shuffle more oracle cards to see for you pile uh, two because I get this very strong dual energy, you know, it's I feel like there is a very split energy, but you are working with yourself, you know um, I don't know why, I just get this feeling that some of you are practicing divination or maybe using that right now, you know, tarot cards, astrology to deal with your love, uh, love life and uh, relationship that you have. But let's see here, one more oracle card to just see more into this reading. Let's see here. Uh, travel, okay. I feel like the travel thing can come uh, in a very unexpected way. Uh, but I think you could also be traveling within yourself, you know mind traveling because there is a very strong mental energy with the virgo card the mystic card and the travel card i think you are traveling mentally in very different uh, uh in a like some in a more mental way um maybe you are go yeah uh, I have to, I forgot that this is a love reading, but maybe you will travel somewhere. Yeah, maybe you will travel somewhere to meet this guy or girl during the month of March, next month, you know. Um, yeah, you may, you will maybe meet their family. Uh but it's, I get, I, I feel like I'm pulled to two different direction. Uh, it's a very strange thing to feel. It's like left brain and right brain is fighting with each other. That's the feeling I get. And you have to slow down. I feel like would what would be very good for you, pile two, is that you meditate, that you take a bath and just feel your body because i feel like your thoughts are rushing you know and i feel myself very scattered you know like i'm all over the place and it's a very crazy energy but there is also a lovely energy i think you will also also have a more pleasant meeting with your family uh, i see that Maybe you will travel to see your family, you know. I see I see some kind of family reunion and maybe you will meet someone there, you know. Um, I think if you're going to be active with dating and love, you have to you have to gather yourself, you know. Maybe you're meeting too many people at once. That's the feeling I get, you know, and I get this very restless feeling. Uh, but some of you, I think, you will travel to your families, your relatives, um, 
And I feel like you are, your schedule is very busy also. Uh, very busy. Um, maybe you have to take time for yourselves so you can digest all your thoughts and impressions you get with the new people you're meeting or your place of work, you know, because it's very strongly connected now when it comes to your love situation. Uh, uh, let's see here. Let's shop. Let's pick up three cards. Oops. Oh, <laughs> three already. Okay. And uh, this is ten of inspiration, eight of emotions. Uh, nine of materials and five of inspirations okay uh, let's see let's see here I, I feel like you are very burdened with a lot of responsibilities uh, pile two you are full of responsibilities um, that's why I think the Vir Virgo call card is popping up you know in this reading and the eight of emotions that is eight of cups i think you're leaving some uh, shitty th things behind you you know that doesn't serve you anymore emotionally so i think you want to leave something behind you but you are successful you know you have everything that you need uh, but there is a lot of competition and i think Maybe you are competing with someone else for a person. But I, I see like your job is taking a lot of time. It's like you don't put enough effort to meet someone right now. I think you are prioritizing yourself. But you are so burdened with a lot of responsibilities. Do you see these cows here? They're just... It's like you're going upwards, you know, always, you know, have to do something. Uh, but I think you are competing, but you are successful with what you are doing, you know. Uh, but I can't feel the romantic feeling in the air, uh, in the air for you, Pai, too. You, you are like preoccupied with your job and your... Uh, responsibilities right now so I think you just have to rest you know I think you need to love yourself first but in the bottom of this deck there is this death card and I think a big shift will come to you very soon a big uh, transformation will just land on your lap you know you you will something will change for you drastically because i can't see that you will continue like this uh, this is crazy it's like you're working 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 and have no don't really have fun um if there is someone that is coming for you during the month of next month the month of march this person maybe is a Scorpio, but this person will definitely change your way uh, with how you're looking um, in your life. You no, know? uh, someone will just you know, bam, come and change everything for you. You know, um, but you have to leave something behind you. This deep hole in your heart that exists Ooh, this was actually a very heavy reading for me to see um you have to you have to like give more space to love if you're single um but i don't know maybe maybe you're like more into family right now or you want to take care of your kids or something else. But I can't see that someone will pop in in your life. Unless you're letting that in in your life. Um, but thank you very much Pile 2. And let's move on to Pile 3. Bye. 
Hi Pile3, uh, thank, thanks for watching this video. This is a reading for you who has chosen Pile3. Uh, let's move on first to the Oracle cards to see what general uh, energies are active during the month of uh, March for you singles out there. Angel helping those in need with no ex expectation of a return this sounds lovely uh, this sounds like people want to be around you because you're taking care of people um, you have this lovely energy that will attract people actually you 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 will attract people with this angelic type of energy you know flamingo you're being called to work on collective healing <laughs> this sounds lovely pile three um i i think you are in a mood of making emotional connections with people that you meet you know uh just be aware that you don't attract too difficult or toxic partners uh, because you have this lovely energy around you um yeah, the, there is a very strong watery energy to this pile. So I think strong emotions will show up uh, during this month for you, pile three. If you're single, truth and debilitated. Okay, okay, this is interesting. I said that maybe you will attract people who are a bit broken or maybe you're trying to fix yourself you know the the pieces that you are trying to fix yourself but i think you will listen to your inner truth you know you will look into yourself and you want to find the true the true love that's the feeling i get i get this very spiritual feeling about you and the way you will approach love this month is with compassion with uh, not sacrifice but compassion you will help people uh, there is a very soft and beautiful energy to this pile but be aware of people who want to take advantage of you who are energetic vampires you know who wants your attention because i feel like you have so much to offer for your people around you you know and that's that's very lovely i mean who doesn't want to be around someone who is full of love but i'm gonna actually shuffle one more oracle card to this reading um you have to listen to your inner voice that's the feeling i get your like heart space your voice that is around your heart area <laughs> heart chakra um i feel like you are uh, let's see here before I say anything else. Life purpose. Okay, I think for you when it comes to love and relationship and dating, I think you want to find your purpose first before you are trying to, you know, find the love of your life. And that's actually great because when you know who you are, that's when uh, right people will kick in in your life, you know, and will start to support you, to be your friend, to, you know, uh, be a friend, be a lovely support. But that's because you're following your purpose. And you're like, I feel like you're very divinely guided, Pile 3. And don't be afraid of discomfort, you know. Discomfort is actually something that teaches us to be stronger, to become more better, refined, better human beings. You know, struggles makes us more wise and 
struggles leads to strength, wisdom and knowledge. And I think you carry this type of energy within you very strongly. But let's see, let's uh, shuffle some tarot cards for Pi 3. Lovely energy. <laughs> I was very happy to see this pile when I saw the cards that just popped in, you know. Uh, I, I think you want to work with people or you want to work with healing or, you know, um, so someone who is like guided by higher force. That's what your purpose is. Um, let's see here. Uh, oops, a tarot card popped up. King of Cups. This looks lovely. Okay, I feel like you are the divine female and this is the one who is masculine and I think there is a pos big possibility for you to meet someone uh, during the month of March this year. I think someone will show up. Or you are very open to offer love to someone, you know. Um, a very sweet and gentle soul will approach you. Uh, um, but let's see here. Let's shuffle some more tarot cards to see more details. Uh, this looks lovely pile. Three. The fool. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like you have this great faith about love. You know, you're you're a bit of you're. I, f I get this feeling that you are a romantic soul from uh, in the core. You know, uh, you're like ready to meet new people, and I feel like you're just following your gut but don't be too foolish though you know you have this debilitated card uh ace of swords okay you know the if i get this feeling that you are going to meet someone and i get this feeling that this could be a new beginning of a relationship and a new type of friendship uh, that is um a new beginning when it comes to new intellectual type of um, it, it, this love relationship that is coming to you uh, has a very strong vibe of uh, air sign you know there is a very strong mental energy to this reading too uh, but I think you know what you want, you know, and you will cut off people who doesn't resonate with you in one or another way. Um, let's see here. Let's pop some more tarot cards to see more. Okay, you have to make a choice when it comes to love too, you know. Um, there is a choice you want to make. Uh there is a hard decision you want to make and I, I think you want to balance everything and be just uh, to, you know, use your mind to, uh, to balance things out. Um, but let's see here. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, th there is a new beginning for you next month, part three. Uh, a positive beginning, definitely a positive beginning. Um, you know, don't let fear come between you and your love life. If someone is coming and offer you the love, just listen, just look, just observe, but have an open heart too, you know. Uh, the interesting thing, I never saw this before, but this looks like a heart heart uh, uh, heart shape uh, so I think there is someone who will appear in front of you very strongly um, and there is a very strong mature but intellectual type of energy but 
loving energy for sure. Um, yeah. Lovely energy pile three. Thank you very much. You can contact me if you want to uh, purchase a reading, you know, or if you have some questions. Uh, but yeah, I wish you good luck. Bye.